I don't know if the camera's crooked and I'm done trying to fix it, so I'm not gonna fix it. What's up guys, it's me, obviously, and I'm baking again, obviously, because of the shirt and the kitchen. Baking banana nut bread, which I've never, I mean, muffins, which I've never made before, so I'm kind of scared for that. But it's okay. And I'm actually, I have all of the steps right here. So I'm not going to go out of order with that either. First thing was to preheat the oven. First thing is to whisk the flour. I'm going to tell you guys what happened to me at the store. Um, I was so, you know when you're mad that you start sweating and your ears get hot and all of that? Well, all right, we're going to use the cup cup. So I went to Target to get butter and walnuts and eggs. So I just ran in. It's, it was already like closing time. It was 8.55 when we got there. I'm trying to rush everybody out, which whatever. That's the store's thing. You rush everybody out of there. It's fine. Well, I was standing in the self-checkout line for at least up to 10 minutes. Keep in mind, I don't have my phone because it's Saturday. So I couldn't let my mom know what was happening in those 20 minutes I was in the store for three things, really packed in there. But um, I'm standing in the line for up to 15, I mean 10 minutes, and then the lights, like half the lights go out. In other words, get out. Finally get to the self-checkout thing and I scan in my stuff. And I am paying and I go to press on the screen to, you know, no cash back. And, uh, the screen wouldn't work, and the lady says, now I know what's wrong. So they give me a suspension slip thing, and they take me to a cashier down the store. The store is long, so you know, you're going halfway down. And I give the guy the suspension slip, and when he, okay, it's when he scanned it, it didn't work. So he says that he has to scan my stuff again and I have to pay and I have to come around. And there was these two women that were supposed to go next. And I'm guessing they had been waiting a long time because all of the lines were long, which is pretty annoying, but it's just what happened, whatever. And so they're probably fed up as well. And so he says that I need to come around and the lady had already pushed her cart in front of the thing you put your number in and hold on, I need to assess cinnamon cinnamon salt and so I come around and so he says can you ma'am can you please move so she can scan her cart well okay this is whatever well she gets mad and uh, he's like I'm so sorry for the inconvenience this will just take two seconds I had three things okay and so she says whatever, and her mom says, it's fine. And I'm like, okay. And so then I was scanning my card, and he didn't press the, the button yet, even though he told me to put my card in. And, um, and so it didn't work, so I had to take out my card. And I hear her start whispering, and I'm like, okay, this is not really necessary. It's kind of petty. Like She's whispering to her mom under her breath, and I'm like, are you kidding me? And I can't hear. And so... Then he's like, I'm so sorry, because while it's authorizing and they don't say anything and they just look at me and I'm like, like, you know, when someone's talking crap about you. Yeah, that's what was happening. And it's it's not my fault that three cash registers weren't working. That's not my issue. But we're just going to very much guess with this. Like a very little amount of nutmeg. I don't know how much one fourth is. We're just gonna say that much. Basically, moral of the story is this lady got mad at me because things weren't working and I had to cut in front of her. Like, it's not my fault there was an inconvenience and the lady took me to your cash register. It is That's not my issue, nor do you have the right to talk shit about someone who's standing right there and the guy's standing there like trying to get me out of there. And yeah, it was just, it was a lot. And it got me really mad. And I, I also could not text my mom to tell her what was happening um, inside of the store as to why I was taking 20 minutes to get three things. And so that was stressing me out a little bit. And so, yeah.
that's what happened. And I was just really, I don't, it, it sounds stupid, but if you're in my situation and you're standing right there and people are talking shit about you, it's kind of annoying because you're too nice to say something. If I weren't that type of person, I would have spoken up and said like, speak up so I could hear you or something petty like that. But I'm not that kind of person. So I just didn't say anything, which I, looking back, I was like, I could have said this, I could have said this. Like, it just got me really, really mad. Basically all of the dry ingredients together. I really hope I did the nutmeg right because nutmeg is really strong. So just mix the dry ingredients of your stand mixer. Okay, I have to get my stand mixer out too. Let me know if you guys want to see me make pizza from scratch. That would be a fun video. All right, now we're going to put in the bananas. We're going to cut them up first. Wow, my station is just, I need to start putting sugar. Knife is so sharp. It's getting me dirty. Kill me, mom. All right, so we're gonna we're just gonna chop it into smaller pieces so it mashes faster. Okay, that's really um, complicated to do one fourth because we don't have a two third. I can't find it and I don't want to look for it. Just to mix in the dry ingredients. So I'm gonna mix in the dry ingredients. How much? One cup of chopped. Okay, I'm gonna chop up the walnuts really quick. That looks good and regular. This is the batter will be thick and this looks like the picture, so I'm kind of proud. I really hope that didn't stop a long time ago, but I let my parents try the mixture. It's really good. And oh my God, I love it. Where's the, oh. All right, I'm folding in the walnuts because that's what it's said to do not mix them in okay now i'm going to do the cupcake liners you want to try it Let's go like that like this yeah come here bomb right that's a lot of um banana yeah it's good though mm -hmm. like that well, that's that's that go like this my face went like oh my god I'm gonna use these bunny cupcake liners that my mom gave me for Easter. Um, so that's fun. Even though it's way past Easter, it's cute, it's whatever. I'm gonna stick in the thing, the batter, filling them all the way to the top. Bake for five minutes. Oh, okay, never mind. Because I know I'm talking to somebody, technically. A big one or a small? Big. 
Oh. Here. Have a lot of banana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice yeah, but it tastes good. Yeah. This literally only makes twelve. These are done. So I'm supposed to let them bake for five minutes at 425 and then reduce the heat to 350 and then bake for another 16 minutes. So I'm going to do that. They look really good. I'm proud and it tastes really good. So um, at, while these are in the oven, I'm going to clean everything up. They only take five minutes? No. <coughs> Hold on. You bake them for five minutes at the really high heat. And Ooh. then you lower the heat. So it, it so the, the heat has to go high to five minutes and then you have to lower it? You have to lower it and then it bakes more. <coughs> Okay, so now they're like room temperature, so I'm gonna try and take the paper off now. Okay, uh, it is sticking a little bit, and I don't really know where I went wrong. Yeah, um, maybe there was too much moisture. No, no, there's a lot of moisture in it. I wonder how it stays still. I don't know. But I like them, they taste good. It's not like super sugary. So. Channel 10. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want to do. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Want one? Want to try? No?